Right now I just tape that off because I'm going to try and spray a little gold on there and just see what it looks like. Just about. Acetone, just getting any wax or grease off of it. What I'm doing right now is when the wheels come in, when they're assembled, you know, they might drop them and whatnot, and there's real sharp edges on these corners. So I just filed all the edges, and now I'm just running it on the sanding wheel to make those soft and clean. I don't want all the sharp edges. I mean, they're, they're actually sharp enough. You can feel one right there. They could probably cut your finger if you hit them just right but they would look worse if I didn't get rid of those when I painted them. So I'm softening all those little dings and fixing the little spots. So when I paint it, it'll look real nice and clean. Yeah, she's just gonna pull those back. Yeah, I'm going to move these out to the front. Mm -hmm. So the thing rotates on its mounts. Yep. Okay. If I do about an inch down there, it should be plenty up here, shouldn't it? Mm hmm. But then by just garbage. Hey, you know what? Let's just do this. Those are just sitting in there. Yeah, I was gonna. Back at only. How much do we need? How much does that look like? Right well, we're getting the Oldsmobile, so it's running. And when they put the McCullough supercharger in, 
you've got to have the belt on it to pull this pulley down. And without that pulled down, the fan belt hits the arm on it. And what we're doing is we're just modifying that bracket slightly. So if that belt were to be off, it still clears. So something simple that we can do and, and it makes sure that there's not a problem down the road. If you ever lost that belt, the car could still run without it. Not that I'm worried about it, but we just want to make it right. What was really cool is when we brought the car into the shop and we did a compression check and oil pressure and we had both. So we went ahead and drained the oil, changed the oil, rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, we, we pulled everything off the front of the motor, so all we were worried about was will it run. And we got everything back on, got the new battery in it, and it actually started up. Really cool. And what's amazing, it doesn't smoke. And, uh, you know, knock on wood. Now we've got the radiator record, it's back in. We haven't put water back in because we're fixing the alternator, making sure that the belt's all clear. Uh, but we're going to make the supercharger work. Everything will be back in the car and running, hopefully by the end of today. And then out for that, move that to see what, just, just pipe cut in here and bring it around. Yep. And then say, well, looks factory that way. You want to cut it and add a piece so we're not making no, it shorter? No, I'm just, no. I'm just going to cut it here and put it down. You're going on radius, aren't you? Mm hmm. Just give you about here. Here. Yeah. Bring it over here. So right now, we need to move this inch and a half back. Right, but we're so, we're the other way. It's it's like this. Let's see. Yeah, it's laying that. down that way, so it's in the car like this. Yep. So let's lay this out here. Gotta, We're here with it. You get a compass to a radius. Yep. Here's our center of this. Yep. So we want to go. Let's just go like this. Yep. And, and if back. we yeah, yeah, I'll just take this. And have a compass to On millimeters. Yep. Operator error? Yeah. 1.5 inch. So it's going to be over to about here. Two radius. It's way too yep. high. Uh, maybe it's not high enough. Right. Well, I'll show you what we'll do there. Mm -hmm. yep. Right there. You actually you're raising it, cause that you're raising it, or you're lowering it. Which way down's going now? So we're going to move that. Yeah, from there. That far. You actually looks like you're raising it in, in the, so from that plane. That's the angle you got to cut out yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But looking at the plane of the vertical, you're raising it, not lowering it. Right. But what I'm thinking is we cut it in here, just bend it to that angle and yeah. fill it. Oh, yeah, that's just, I just put a plate cut in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to cut it right off. Just cut it right here. Yep. Cut it out to about... I don't need that much, do we? Just burr. Use that as your pattern. Yep, there we go. Blueprint. First official blueprint. Not even official. <laughs> <laughs> I thank John for putting this car in the garage over 50 years ago. Had he not, we wouldn't be able to see what Barris's shop released back then in 1958. And one of the really cool things about this car is the fact that Dean Jeffries did all the graphics and the stripes. You know, that's an era of time that, you know, is pretty rare. Where, you know, Dean did a lot of work for George, but obviously their relationship dissolved over a period of time to where, you know, they really didn't talk in the end. And it's a shame because they did some cool stuff together. Um, um, um. Bum 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 bum